Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In the previous video, we had discussed about centrosome and centriole. In this video, we are going to discuss about nucleus. Nucleus is a double membrane bound. Protoplasmic body. Which controls all the cellular metabolism. and also stores the genetic material of cell. It was first discovered by Robert Brown in the year 1839. Later on the nucleus because it was being stained by basic dye acetocarmine it was given the name chromatin by Fleming nucleus it is considered as controller or director of cell it is responsible for controlling the heredity growth and metabolism and this was experimentally proved by Hammerling so control of cell and its activities along with heredity by nucleus was proven by Hammerling. Generally, eukaryotic cells contain at least one nucleus except mammalian RBCs and sieve tube elements. of phloem talking about the structure of nucleus the structure of nucleus it is studied during interface that is in a non dividing cell because in a dividing cell nucleus loses its shape and loses its membrane and during certain stages of cell division nucleus is entirely lost only to come back again during the later stages the first component is nuclear membrane Nuclear membrane, it consists of two parallel membranes It consists of two parallel membranes with a space between them This space, it is known as peri nuclear space or intermembrane space these membranes form a barrier between the cytoplasm and contents inside the nucleus The outer membrane is continuous with rough endoplasmic reticulum. The outer membrane it is continuous with rough endoplasmic reticulum. At a number of places these membranes fuse thus leading to formation of nuclear pores 
these nuclear pores are the regions which provide a passage for movement of substances between cytoplasm and nucleus so the nucleus or its membrane it appears like this these are the places where the outer and the inner membrane has fused to form the nuclear pores generally in animal cells nuclei or nucleus they are located in the center whereas in plant cells they are pushed to the periphery due to the presence of vacuoles the nuclear pore it is guarded by a octagonal discoid structure made up of nucleoplasmin protein the second component of nucleus is the presence of nucleoplasm this nucleoplasm is the ground substance of nucleus which is a complex of colloids formed by a number of chemicals like nucleotides nucleosides atps proteins enzymes etc it contains chromatin net and nucleolus so components of nucleoplasm first it contains chromatin net this term was given by fleming now this chromatin net in an interface nucleus it is seen as a distinct network of distinct network of nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin which is embedded in the nucleoplasm chromatin fibers they contain genetic information and condensed to form chromosomes during cell division and it condenses to form chromosomes during cell division the chromatin it is divided into chromatin is divided into u chromatin and heterochromatin u chromatin this is lightly stained whereas heterochromatin stains darker u chromatin it is functionally active whereas heterochromatin it is functionally inactive this is darker stain and thick and condensed part which is rather inactive during cell division whereas u chromatin is more active the other component of nucleoplasm is the presence of nucleolus
nucleolus these are spherical membraneless made up of these are spherical membraneless structures made up of ribonucleoproteins and are continuous with the rest of the nucleoplasm the nucleoli they are site for active ribosomal synthesis so they are also known as ribosome factory of the cell nucleolus they are larger and more numerous in cells which are actively carrying out protein synthesis they are larger and more numerous in cells involved in active protein synthesis so with this we finish off with our discussion on nucleus see you in next video